isidugo samagagabe mtu muguni thosa malangana ngosi ya mtu chawe ngwangu skomo dogu ngonde chiwo palu khagabe mlawu ngika magoma sandile gonya faku velile ngolisi maqhoba ya khauleza jongucolo umlando wa magagabe the Kosa royal bloodline stretches from king Kosa all the way to king palu who fathered Galega of the great house and Khagabe of the right hand house because King Palo had already paid Lobola for one bride from the Mbondo royal family and another from the Tembu royal family, both of his intended wives arrived on the same day for their weddings. And that is how Amakosa came to be ruled by two royal houses. I will explain how the house of Khakhabe came to be known as the right hand house or Indri Asegunene. Kosa custom dictates that the son of the first wife, as declared on arrival, would be the heir to the throne. The fact that a first wife could not be declared created a significant difficulty and public outcry. Some referred to this as the ancestor's punishment. Given the equality of the two young princesses, King Palo ran the risk of upsetting the father of the other by selecting one of them as the great wife. An elderly wise man named Majege provided the solution to this conundrum. He stated, What is greater than the head of the king, and what is stronger than his right hand? Let the one be the head's wife, and the other the wife of the right hand. As a result, the right hand house, a second but independent house, was created. The princess of Amampondo was selected as his great wife and the Abatembu princess became the right hand wife. King Palo had two sons, Khakhabe from his right hand house and Galega from his great house. Khakhabe was older for he was born in 1722 as opposed to Galega in 1730. From an early age, Khakhabe showed bravery and intelligence, making him by far the best of Palo's sons. This led to a lot of conflict between the siblings because Galega worried that his brother, who was very popular, may someday try to usurp the throne. Conflict ensued when Galega attempted to steal his father's throne after reaching manhood, but he failed. Khakhabe, who had assisted his father against his brother's designs for the throne, decided to leave Palo's great place with a group of followers and crossed the Gai River and settled at a village near present-day Stacherheim. This move had the blessing of Palo as he accompanied his son in his search for a new home. Khakhabe came into contact with the Khoikhoi people upon his arrival in these new lands and negotiated with Queen Hoho, their regent, for the sale of territory between the Kiskama and Buffalo rivers. Khakhabe also purchased the Amatole woods and Hoho hills between Middle Drift and King Williamstown. As a result, the Kosa monarchy was and continues to be split into two kingdoms, the kingdom of the Amagalega and the Amakhakhabe. Khakhabe's children from his great wife, Nojoli Gan Dungwana of the Abatembu, were his daughters Nzusa Kakhakhabe and Kinzela Kakhakhabe, and his sons Ndlambe Kakhakhabe, Nugwa Kakhakhabe, and his heir Mlau Kakhakhabe, the great son. When his son Mlau Kakhakhabe passed away in 1782, he had two sons, Ngiga and Ndimbo, who were still newborns. Amapagati, Mlau's council members, 
as they were known, were put under Ndlambe, who served as the young Nrika's regent. When Khakhabe's daughter Ntsusa wed the Kwati chief Mdandala, he sent Khakhabe a pitiful hundred head of cattle as Lobola, or dowry. Khakhabe sent his right-hand son Kebo to Tembulan to request more cattle since he viewed this as a grave affront to someone of his status. As directed by Khakhabe, Kebo went to Mandandala's homestead and demanded the animals. But Abakwati attacked and killed him. King Khakhabe was so infuriated by these events that he immediately traveled to Tembuland to avenge the offense with his spear. There was conflict and Khakhabe dispersed Abba Tembu and took many of their livestock. Khakhabe, however, was gravely wounded and passed away at the skirmish at the Kuka River. The estimated date of this conflict is, 18, is 1787. King Khakhabe's grave is located in the eastern K province's Amakhtole district municipality. Umbongo ka Khakhabe by S.E.K. Mkai Ntinga ka nomagwai wa sembo Butzolo bentonga zama zami lizu Sibala mtaga singe siya kona mtla singai Singe asi mtla siyayo Samba ata zimfushani kanti zom lingana Kubezi nkulu e siti zona zimfisa matolo Sasungulu la pati skwai Kantilia zinga Kwezi nyintaka Ham ham kas chekeche Ndo ya segunene kukapalo Ezi nchi mbongi zitingaye Kabulu kwena kapalo Kushu bobo no solo luani. Nga hot la pume sandri. Ho me guma sata hono ne mweba. Ngange ne pigo ya gum kul. Ea so ming na kreba yem ganayo. Ya ya gwa kumzwa sibunen. Galini nzinga. Eza puli mi kaga. Zite za bale ginzovu za ilundini. Zina nina zingabui. Sisigi mikaga. Wena kukisa batwa no kaga ntu. Anko kogi kama. Nenzi mango. Kungula ntwana. Zikumayo Sikukukazi sikokosha ma ntonzo Ama kukuli Tali Zikuinga makaya Ukukula mandinde na magwali Wakukuli mitange na mambalu Abu ya mashege Abu ya makunu kwewe Dahu Bawam, Wogun ya peta. Amakaba gango gwa aza pendula. Aza gubinza. Atelis pango. Atibana footing a misana. Aza tibane footy. Gamabunzi. Kalogi kru gangosi. Liakuguma. Lipume luandle. Nangama viti. Emva go kuguza kuku buga. Lama vu songe. Songa mela. Ti ha ha ha. Ndakele lingwe mkwezi